Hi, now you are watching eBess Education at Home. In this time, we are going to get the concept of making working space wider enough. Resecting the SP base protrusion is very simple step, but one of the most important procedures to make the surgery easy and smooth. Biportal endoscopic spine surgery is not just a simple skill for discectomy. We can handle most cases of severe lumbar spinal stenosis. The problem is that these cases in severe condition shows. Similar condition with collapsed disc height and much narrow interlaminar space. Sometimes the size of interlaminar space is less than 5 mm. We use as two device during BESS, one scope combined with a sheath, sized 8 mm, and another certain instrument, sized about 5 mm. Therefore, we must need about more than 15 mm for two instruments and a little free space for their moving in the midline. Without this enough working space, the instruments are jammed or fighting each other, so that we cannot go forward into the target. When you should check the size of interlaminar space, and its height is less than 15 millimeters, you should think that you will resect some part of the proximal and distal SP bases. About 5 millimeters resection on each SP base is enough for making working space wider. In this episode, proximal SP base resection is only explained. First thing, you should make the first boomerang on the endoscopic view. The scope moving medially on a little backward retrieval shows you the view of the lateral side of SP base. A straight chisel is located on the edge of proximal SP base and resected about 5 mm sized cortical protrusion. When it is done well with enough size resection, contralateral side area can be seen without being disturbed by protrusion of the proximal SP base in the middle. 